Hello there, and welcome to another TapForms tutorial. Today I'm going to walk you through importing and exporting your records. So just jumping right in, if you come up here to the file menu and click import records, you're going to get this little dialog box. So to start, you're just going to choose a file to import. Now TapForms can accept uh, .csv files as well as .txt files, and I just happen to have a, a pre-made CSV file here for this tutorial. So you're going to want to go through each of these dialog boxes and make sure that you've got the, them set correctly so that you're going to have the most successful import that you possibly can. So with file encoding, you just want to make sure that the setting you have here matches the encoding you have set on your file. In this case, I have uh, Unicode UTF-8. And over here with your column delimiter, uh, you're going to want to choose, of course, the, uh, the correct delimiter for your file. So in this case, it's a CSV, comma, with your date format, it is very important that you select the correct format or else your dates will not import correctly. So if you look down here, there is uh, one of my records has already sort of shown up here. And I can cycle through them just to make sure that they are there and coming in properly. And as well, I can look here at my date field. And I notice that the order is day, month, year, interspaced with dashes. So I'm going to come up here, day, month, year separated by dashes, it'll give you an example of the current date. So again, it's very important that you select the correct one or else your dates will not show up. And that includes if your date includes a time, there are some of these down here. As well, if you happen to have a time field, which I don't here, but in case you do, you have to make sure you select the correct format. And down here we have the option of whether or not we'd like to create an entirely new form based around these records, or if we've already created a form with these same fields, then we can import it straight into that one. And once you've made sure that all of your settings up here are correct, you can come down here and begin assigning field types to each of the different fields. So for these, I'm going to leave them as text, but I might come in here for summary, change it to a note, change the release date to a date. I will make my rating a rating. Maybe the year can be a number. The digital copy could be a check mark. And then I've got a website here, so I'll put that as a website. And now that I'm finished, I will click import. And as you can see, my records have all imported wonderfully. And you've got all of the different fields. See, my date is here. I've got the rating. I've got the digital copy check mark. I've got this website so I can Click up to there and it'll bring me right to the IMDB page that I have input. One note is that CSV and TXT files are just that, they're text files. So if you have any pictures, such as I have in my other movie library, those will not transfer over. However, there are options, which I will show you in a moment, that will include your photos in your export. And as promised, I'm going to now show you how to export a record. So I'm just going to use this same movie library that I just imported. And as you'll notice, a lot of the settings are very similar. So you want to make sure that you've got the correct encoding for your file. If you're planning to export a CSV, of course, you want comma. Otherwise, select any of these. Again, ensure you have the correct date format and time. The line endings just depends on where you plan on sending this file. And number format is based on, of course, your number field. So because I have a year value, none of these are going to apply. So I'll just leave that at no value. And then you've got export record ID, which basically gives each record a unique identifier. So if, say, someone else is importing these records into their tap forms, it will recognize that and it won't add a whole bunch of duplicates that you've already got. Export linked records just means that if you have a field linking to another record, that it's going to include those separate records in the export as well. Your field type tags means that TapForms is going to export your different field types within the file so that when you're importing, you don't have to go in and change rating and date and etc. Those will all already be recognized. And export media just means that if you've got any photos or audio recordings or anything along those lines, those will also be included in your export in a separate folder. So I'm going to go ahead and check export record IDs, my field type tags, and I don't have any media, so I'm not going to do that one, and I don't have any linked records, so I won't use that either. And just click export. And it's of course going to ask me where I want to put it, so I'll just stick it on my desktop. And voila, I now have 
my movie library right here, export it as a CSV for use in whatever way you like. So I hope that was helpful and I'll see you again on the next one.